Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Lindy and today I'm drawing this owl in graphite. I'm going to talk a little bit about the pencils I use, the difference between them and how to use them for a project like this one. Have fun! I'm starting out with a 2B pencil. I block in the dark spots while I'm checking if my drawing is okay. It's very important to keep looking at your reference photo. Because you have not used darker pencils, it's still easy to fix a mistake. For this video I will use the European names for pencils instead of the American ones. Mostly because I'm more familiar with those, but also because it's an easy system. Just to explain, the graphite pencils have a number and a letter. H stands for hard, B stands for black. And the number before it stands for the specific degree of hardness. For example, a 6B is softer than an 2B, and a 4H is harder than an H. Just to make this easier, for drawing art you only use B pencils. HB and 2B up to 8B. The softer pencil gives you beautiful darkness, as you will see happen in this drawing. So I keep on blocking in the feathers while looking at the reference photo. I always love to draw the head, the rest of the feathers can be a bit tedious. But keep at it, do not cut corners, this will diminish your work greatly. And don't count the feathers, just concentrate on the patterns of feathers you can see. Pay close attention to the direction of the feathers. Your pencil strokes will shine through in your drawing and should follow the direction of the feathers. By the way, this is also important if you're drawing fur or hair. Now I've finished the initial layer, I'm using a 6B and 8B to draw the details. You'll see the shine on the drawing where I used the 8B. Sorry about that, it's just the lighting. I'll switch off the light so you can see how nice and dark the color gets. So my advice is, always start with a harder pencil like 2B, use your first layer to block in the darker areas and to double check your drawing, and use a softer pencil like 4B, 6B or 8B to draw detail and draw in the darker areas. I hope you found this useful. Just keep practicing and I hope you will make amazing art. See you next time!